Can you give a few examples of stuff you wanted to get away from or, or yeah, I think, think the band think the, the band was really hard um, breaking up with the band and uh, um, but uh, th they you know when I when I left that band I, I felt like it was a necessary move but I was also really sad about it and I was really worried that I might not be able to uh, sort of get back on that the music horse again because I had sort of been so hurt by it and I hurt myself or, or the whole situation sort of hurt and uh, I, I didn't feel like I necessarily had my my wits about me I didn't know if I had uh, the courage to sort of make music that was you know important enough to to be on my own without my bandmates and so there was a large a large struggle there um, with that and I also just had discovered that over the last you know, the, the previous four or five years, I just sort of become kind of a sad person. And I, I spent more time being sad than I was, you know, happy and jovial or, or something. And, and that felt really odd. And, and, and there were a myriad of reasons why that was. Um, one of them being kind of like unresolved relationships and, and, and love and, and lack of love or what have you. And uh, I just needed to finally put an end to it. Okay, so you did, you really went in there, so I have to, uh, yeah, think about the stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But also to, to really make music, was it also uh, a goal? It was a goal just to kind of work, uh, work on music in general, um, because, you know, I, I thought I'd give it a shot, you know on my own, which I, you know, I'd done a few like little albums or projects on my own, but it, you know, it was always just kind of like an idea or a project just to kind of make a hundred copies and sell or something, you know, and uh, everything else, all, every other effort I've ever put in was in the band, so I just figured this was another kind of like experiment and uh, it ended up being much more than that after I left. Yeah, but can you say, um, how did a day look like? When you were in there, <laughs> uh, well, I might wake up. I might like, you know, I had my I had my computer. Um, you had so a computer. I had a little laptop computer that ended up with internet. Uh, yes, yeah, so oh, it was okay. like a satellite yeah. internet connection. Okay. But I, I, to be honest with you, I didn't. I wasn't using it. I was using the computer to be writing and and arranging um, stuff. And uh, there was like, plus the internet slow connection was too slow. <sighs> But uh, for anything, but uh, but w basically we just wake up and maybe eat, maybe go back to bed. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, things I would do. There's things to do with, uh, in the barn. There's a tractor and a sawmill and uh, just kind of chores and kind of upkeep on the land. And my dad was had some projects going so that I helped him out with when he wasn't there. Um, and that's what it really looked like for the first month or so. I. I I ended up um, becoming more and more enthralled in the new music I was working on after about a month. And uh, towards the end, I was spending 15, 16, sometimes like 20 hours a day working on the songs um, just because that's all I wanted to do. And it felt it was a good, that, that sort of lazy period in the beginning was sort of a good motivator for, for that. <laughs> 